Quite often when editing, you need to do your own amount of compositing work to finish a shot, such as screen inserts, advertising replacement, and effects such as blurs and tints. While Mocha has supported some editors such as Final Cut, a lot of others have missed out, so we'd like to help. From Mocha 2.6.1 onwards, we now provide export for any Boris FX plugin that supports motion tracking import, including plugins such as MatchMove, Corner Pin, and Witness Protection. What this means is you can now get Mocha's Corner Pin and Transform data into programs such as Avid Media Composer, Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas Pro, Final Cut 7, Apple Motion, and any other program that supports Boris FX plugins. This update is across all of our current applications, Mocha AE, Mocha, and Mocha Pro. We have also released a specific bundle in partnership with Boris FX that combines Mocha AE with the Boris Continuum Motion Tracker Unit, containing Merch Move, Corner Pin, Witness Protection, and Wire Remover plugins. See BorisFX.com for more details on these. To show you the diversity of this new Boris support, here's a quick example of doing a track inside Mocha and bringing it into various Boris-supported editors. Okay, so here I am in Mocha AE 2.6.1. I'm just going to take you very quickly through how to uh, do this track. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to use Mocha correctly, please visit our site and go to the Learn Mocha section in the website. So, I'm just going to choose my tool here and quickly draw a shape around the size of this phone. We just draw a very brief shape here. I'm going to reduce the amount of pixels here I need because I don't need too many to do this track quickly. I'm going to switch to Auto Channel turn on perspective and start tracking. So we'll see the shape follow along with the track here. Okay, once that's tracks done you can see that shape is now following along with the phone. I'm just going to line up my surface now, which is this blue thing up here, let's, let's lighten it up a little bit, and we're just going to drag the corners of this surface to the edges of the screen to where we want it to sit for when we bring it into the Boris plugin. So I'm just tweaking those corners. I'm going to turn on my grid now as well just to see uh, how that's lining up. So we'll just tweak those a little bit more. Now when we actually press play you can see how that grid is following along. If that's still not good enough we can actually stop our track here and I'm going to come across to the insert clip and just insert a preview clip just to make sure that image is sitting there rock solid on the screen. So once we've got this we can actually now come down to our export data and export out to the Boris BCC plugins. So I'm going to click on export tracking data. You can see in Mocha E we've got the ability to export out to After Effects, After Effects corner pins, the transform and of course the Boris corner pin which we're going to use today. Then we've also got Final Cut and some motion support. But in this case we're going to be showing the Boris workflow. So I'm going to choose corner pin and click save. We can just type in a name here and then we can save that out and it's exported out. We can then switch over to the next application. Okay, so here we are inside Media Composer. I'm just going to drag that footage down into our timeline. So there's our footage. I then have also prepared a insert to go into the screen, so I'm going to drag that in. It's just a quick motion graphics work I've done inside After Effects. Uh, it's a graph drawing on the screen to appear. And so we're going to insert this now using the BCC Corner Pin plugin and our motion data. So I'm just going to drag that effect on top of my insert and you'll see the effect starting to work in the viewer there. So let's just pull up our effects editor. Now we're going to be using the motion tracker here where we've got the option down here to use load. But first I'm going to apply this corner pin correctly. So we're going to come up to the render and I'm going to do corner pin only. So you'll see that sitting now on top of my footage if I was to now drag the timeline, you'll see it's just sitting there in the middle of the screen. It's not actually doing all that much. So this is where we need to start using our motion tracker import to lock those corners to the corners of the screen. So let's just uh, line that up there and I'm going to come back to my effect editor, look for motion tracker. So here, click load. I'm going to load that footage in, so let's just find where that went. And here it is here. And then that will pop into screen with the tracking data that we did inside Mocha. And now when we adjust, you'll see that following along with the actual screen. And it's just that simple. All the Boris plugins are like this, and I'm going to show you now a few more examples. Over in Premiere, we've got exactly the same situation. I've put my footage in, I'm going to drag my insert down on top of that, 
Then we can select our graph. I'm going to drag the BCC corner pin on top of my insert. And again, you'll see the same process. We've got the effect. I'm going to come down to my render and choose corner pin only again. So we've got that footage sitting over the top. And then once again, we locate our motion tracker in our plugin. And then we just choose L for load, locate that uh, file again. And once again, it's that simple. Just drags in, apply the effect, and then apply the motion tracking data to the plugin. Inside motion, it's the same process. I'm going to drag my insert down on top of my footage, select that layer, and then come up to my filters choose Distortion and Perspective, BCC Corner Pin, and then once we have that, we can come across to our Inspector, go down to Render and choose Corner Pin Only, and then inside the Motion Tracker, we click L, load our file, and there we have it, straight inside the Motion application. Over in Final Cut, it's the same thing. We drag in our Insert, and then let's just choose a middle part so we can see this properly and we come up to video filters we choose our distortion and perspective BCC corner pin and then we can drag in our footage there come to our filters and change that to corner pin only and then once we have that we can choose our motion tracker once again choose L for load get our track and there we have it. Here's another example of combining the tracker with the Boris FX plugins. Here I've tracked the boy's face and I want to blur it out inside my compositor. So I can come down again to my export tracking data. This time I'm going to choose BCC center point and just use the transform data from this track. So I'm going to save that file out and then we can switch over and blur it out in Media Composer. So here we are in Media Composer. I've put my footage in already, and I'm going to apply the Witness Protection plugin inside the Boris plugin effects. So I'm just going to again drag that plugin straight down on top of my footage, and you can see here we've got a little blur happening over on the side here with various adjustments. So I can move these circles around to adjust that blur and the radius that it has. Uh, but at the moment it's just stationary and I want to now apply the motion tracking data to track to his face. So again we come down to our load, I can find that file that I just created, and then it will immediately apply to his face and track along with the rest of his face. If we just loop that you can see that motion tracking data all working alongside Mocha's tracking data and the Boris plugin. With the added support for Boris Continuum plugins, Mocha provides editors and compositors with even more flexibility to get tracking work done quickly and effectively. For more information on Mocha and tutorials covering tracking and other advanced features, visit our website. This has been Martin Brennand for Imagineer Systems.